Hello, welcome to my channel. So we have Bridget Pearl Claude Felter. She went missing September 5th, 1992 from Smyrna, Georgia, just 27 years old. This says her height was about 5 foot 3 to 5 foot 5, and she weighed around 110 to 125 pounds. She was last seen um, around, I call it midnight 30 and 1 a.m., on Saturday, September 5th, 1992, she had left her apartment on Lake Park Drive walking to the Buckboard, a local country dance bar about a mile away. She was to meet friends there, but never arrived, and she's never been seen or heard from since. Uh, bleach blonde hair, a blue eyes, wearing white jeans, a black top, black snake skin, cowboy boots. And so it sounds like she was going line dancing, right? Very pretty young lady. And here we have this Jane Doe. And I had just looked at her in regards to another person. And this Jane Doe was just 14 minutes away. And she does also look similar to her, doesn't she? And there's another picture. Oh, this is the other girl that I had looked at her. Because see how similar this looks to that that girl? A Belinda Francis Norad went missing in Ackworth, Georgia. Which I don't think was that far away. But I think it was a little bit further away. Her vehicle was found in Marietta, Georgia. So, you know, that's pretty close as well. Oh, it's the same same area. Marietta, sorry. Marietta is Marietta, right? She went missing from Ackworth, but her vehicle was found in Marietta, and she looks similar as well. So, and this is her. So I thought, well, it could probably be either one of them, or it could be somebody different. And then it makes me wonder if it wasn't the... Oh, no, it couldn't be the same person, could it? Because this person was was probably um the suspect was her boyfriend who is Stephen Creesman who's also the s suspect who she was dating and he was also the suspect of killing another girlfriend and his wife and she went missing August 6 1982 she went missing September 5th 1992 I mean do you think it could be if that Stephen Creesman if, 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 and this is just if, wild speculation, if he had done that to um, two girlfriends and a wife, do you think that he could have also done this, whatever happened to Bridget Pearl Clodfelter, or you think it could be somebody else? I don't know, because I wonder, you know, you wonder if somebody does that, how many people they actually do it to, or if it's some somebody else. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes you have three or four people that things happen to them in the same area where nothing ever happens to anybody, and all of a sudden you find out, you think, oh, well, the same person must have done it. Then you find out, oh, no, it was done by three or four totally different people, and you're like, well, that's shocking, right? So, but she went missing 14 minutes away. From where that Jane Doe was found. Um, Bridget did. Bridget went missing. 14 minutes away from where that Jane Doe was found. And that Jane Doe was found in 1993. And she went missing in 1992. 5 foot 3, 100 pounds. 5 foot 3, 110 pounds. But this says that girl was wearing hip length short sleeve jacket. White halter top, scarf with pink diamond design, lightweight, blousey elastic waistband slacks. Mm, it's not the same clothes. But would she have been wearing a jacket walking at 2 in the morning? A white halter top. And this one says... It was a black, oh, white jeans and a black top. See, the clothing's different. I don't know. Short sleeve jacket, white halter top. 
And I, I don't know what she was. Leather moccasins. What shoes was this girl wearing? Does it mention the shoes? Were there no shoes found with this girl? White halter top, a scarf. Blousey elastic waistband slacks. I don't even know what that means. Anyway. So. This is um, another mention of Bridget. Pearl Cloud Filter. She. It says. Um, bleach blonde hair. Last seen at around 12.30 a.m. 1 a.m. Saturday. September 5th, 1992. So it'd probably be Friday night. She left Friday night, Saturday morning. She left her apartment on Lake Park Drive to walk to the Buckboard, a local country dance bar about a mile away. So you'd think it would be somebody that lived in that area, right? Maybe somebody that was getting out of a bar that was drunk. You know, maybe they offered her, maybe somebody offered her a ride. I don't know. She was to meet friends there but never arrived and has not been seen or heard from since that night. She was wearing white jeans, a black top, black snakeskin cowboy boots. The route she is believed to have taken to the buckboard would have been north on Lake Park Drive, then east on Windy Hill Drive, in Windy Hill Road, sorry. Anyone with any information is asked to contact the Smyrna Police Department. Here's the phone number. And to me, I feel like if you have any information, I would not only, I would email the police department, email a detective, email the sheriff's department, just CC all of them in the same email. So, you know, they take the information down. And even if it's hearsay, it's something you heard, you know, from somebody drinking and talking, somebody who's been in jail, someone whose loved one or friend heard somebody talking, give them the information, let them decide what's important and what's not. Such a beautiful young girl. Here's another picture of her on the Charlie Project. And it's the same information. So she went to go dancing. It says those streets were largely wooded. It's just unreal. It's four inch surgical scar on her abdomen. It doesn't give her birth date. September 5th, 1992, 27 years old. And this girl, this is a different, this is a Jane Doe. So we're going to look at some Jane Doe's. But I thought, see her face, the shape of her face? I thought she looked similar to the shape of her face. So she reminded me of her, see? So I wanted to keep her in there as well, even though it's probably not... You know, I mean, this is 2003, and she went missing in 1992. So this is 10 years later. And it's a petite girl. And she has black hair. Her hair is kind of dark, but it's not black. And 10 years later, she's not going to be 27 years old. But just an hour and 17 minutes away, from where she went missing, this other girl was killed. And so then I wondered if it was the same person killed them both, you know, 10 years later. Um, homicide by gunshot, age 15 to 25 years old. So this would obviously be a different person. But as, as someone that's about the same height, same weight, and only about an hour away, 10 years later, um, found after an explosion at a residence, a fire confined to one bedroom. There were two male victims with a female deceased. She was shot in the mouth with her hands duct taped behind her back. Her hands were duct taped behind her back and she was shot in the mouth. So that made me wonder if it could have been because her facial shape and everything in this picture right here reminded me so much of her. So I just wondered if she could have been killed by the, you know, the same person or something. And that was an hour and 15 minutes away. And then this girl, this Jane Doe, was found 2006 to 2008, up to months prior to being found. Was, um, 
aged 12 to 99. They don't know how old she was. Found on the sidewalk near a dry cleaning business. Only part recovered is part of a femur. Appears to be female. Date of discovery is 2008, and they think the date of death was 2006 to 2008, up to months prior to being found. And I put how far away that is. That's only 37 minutes. So then I wonder if one person is going around killing these people or if it's more than one person. And then we have a girl found in 2012, uh, 2014, who died in 2012. In College Park, Georgia, and that's and she's about five foot three. Scales remains discovered by law enforcement canines while searching the area for a live suspect in an unrelated incident found in a wooded area at Stonewall Hall Road and Cochrane Road, College Park. So I just, you know, I just wanted to see, look at that. So many people in the area. Okay, so this Jane Doe was found September 21st, 1992. And she went missing September 5th, 1992. And this is Atlanta, Georgia, age 25 to 50. Um, estimated PMI is months. Skull found by contractors were building a subdivision. So I thought, well, this maybe this could be her. I'm not sure. You know, none of them might be her. But this one is one. Some of them, I just, because they were in that same area, I was just looking at, I just noticed them and thought, wow, I wonder if the same person could be killing different people or if there's different people killing them. And it's so sad that there's so many young girls in that area that have things happen to them. But this one, I thought maybe this could be her. And that is only 34 minutes away from where she went missing. And, and it's the same month, though. So, and then the next one I have is East Point, Georgia, which is just 38 minutes away. Estimated age range could be anywhere from 18 to 99 years old. And they're not sure if it's a male or a female, and they're not, they have no idea of the race. And it says estimated PMI is years. Can I estimate height or weight? Right side of, they just found, um, you know, skeletal remains in an overground backyard near a house undergoing renovations. Fragmented areas. So, I don't know if that could be her or not. It's really sad. And then we have this Jane Doe, age 20 to 50 years old. I, well, unsure. It's unsure if it's a male or a female. And unsure of the race. Estimated year of death could have been anywhere from 1950 to 2005. So that could be a lot of different people. And Bowen's found by a surveyor working in the area. So. It's just partial skeleton remains found in Atlanta, Georgia. And one last one, all the way in North Carolina, found in 1996, age 20 to 30. Estimated PMI, five years. Can I estimate height or weight? Dare County, a cranium found wash up on Critic Sound. And just partial skeleton remains. So I don't know if any of these could be her, but... So there she is in Smyrna, Georgia, and this young lady was found in Marietta. And where's the other picture of her? It is here. And that one is not... That one is not, and that's a no, but this one's a possibility, right? That one's a possibility, and this one. I don't know if any of them could be her. Who knows what happened to her? 
just the middle of the night and she's out walking less than a mile and there's just no way of knowing what happened to her so if you have information please contact authorities don't forget to pray for her family and her loved ones feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day bye bye